Now, when it comes to her calling out on others, it's usually based on what they like or dislike. While I do encourage people calling others out for their wrongdoings, calling them out based on their preferences isn't necessary at all. For example, her rant on someone named Blue Icy Girl Art. Hey sisters and brothers, I need to tell you something. This girl is trash. She is kind of like Cinnabee. She has a raging hate bone of her cheesecake cookie, but for another reason. She ships her OC rainbow Italian cookie with sparkling cookie. And sparkling is already married to cheesecake, and her OC gives a bad name to Italians, which is offensive for I am part Italian. <laughs> Gotta love how she's going SJW mode. Very funny package. Got the whole squad laughing. The Loud House is a Nicktoon. A fucking Nicktoon. And someone on YouTube said, The Loud House is just a show for pedophiles with its jailbait characters. Or of those words. I'm gonna go off topic for a moment and say that could possibly be true. The creator of The Loud House drew literally incest, uh, child pornography with his mom and some cat. I don't know where to find it, but I found it on YouTube somewhere. Um, you can easily search it up. And plus, uh... The uh, creator also sexually harassed girls, so... I'm skeptical too, to be quite honest, but I don't fully see how Chris sexually harassing female staff members can fully relate to this. Not without a proper citation, anyway. Otherwise, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I do, however, really question your moral compass on this issue. You're not denying that the Loud House may be pedo bait, yet you defend the blatantly sexualized work of Jigglypuff Queen as not being pedophilia. Just saying, those statements directly contradict each other. <laughs> Lastly, she even made another rant on her before. She supports obesity, and obesity can kill. Can kill what? That was the worst attempt on a joke I've ever seen. It could kill you. I know it was sarcasm, but it was just, it was just cringy and terrible. I, I, I can't stand it. I really can't. Apparently, that rebuttal was so cringe you had to put some stupid reaction video in. It wasn't even fully sarcastic either, as you once again cut them off before their point was done. Can kill what? Other people? Be specific. Alright, jokes aside, I know what you mean, but I'll get to that later. It's almost like you're trying to make Package look bad or something. Hmm. Uber cringe. Next. against two groups of people. The first one being fat people. She made a meme claiming that people who date a fat person has a fetish for fat people. It's not like they like them for their personality or anything, no, their physical appearance is more important. She even links a bunch of videos in a journal to prove her point that being fat isn't healthy. While you aren't wrong right there, bullying others won't make it any better. She believes that the one and only cause of obesity is eating. Because apparently genetics aren't present. That's because it isn't. Your genetics don't alter your weight. You can easily exercise that weight off. Your basically being fat is caused by eating food. That's all it's from. It's from nothing else. Don't get fat because uh, you, you, your, your cousin's cousin's somehow just the biggest fat little liar ever. No, that's, that's not how it works. Okay, so I researched this, and apparently your genetics can stop you from losing weight faster, but that doesn't mean you become fat. That's, that's, no, that's not how it works at all. Well, nice to see you put a little addendum trying to correct yourself. While food is clearly the most dominant factor in gaining weight, genetics can also contribute. There's a lot of variables, but these may range from health issues, poor metabolism, or being overweight for most of your life. Again, food is the main catalyst, but it doesn't mean that that's the only reason for gaining weight quicker than normal. Packet should have been more clear about that. Popcorn cookie. X adventure cookie doesn't count as pedophilia, since age is just a fucking number. Hey, two things wrong with this. Age is not just a number, and whatever shit they're talking about just does not matter because they're fictional and it doesn't matter. Uh, but even if that good one is just a number, it's like really, um, like really bad. That's just really bad. I, I don't even know how to describe it. You gotta play for this one. Package reviewer. That, that's 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 horrible. You don't say that. No. So you agree that believing age is just a number is bad, but still hold on to the thought process that it can't be pedophilic because the characters are fictional. Now I normally don't like calling people pedos nowadays just because they made horny art out of younger fictional characters. It's a loaded term that's grown to mean nothing these past few years. There still remains some validity to that mindset, however. The intentions or usage behind the media can definitely signal pedophilic actions. Occasionally, lewd art of kids show characters is used to lure young people to engage in sexual situations. And we're not even going to delve into the tricks the minor attracted people community does to sound innocent. Context is night and day, but there is some defense I can give to that sentiment if we're unaware of their intentions. After all, many of them are smart enough to hide it. Say, how's your reputation doing, Fungasm? I'm... I'm just speechless right now. There is no fucking way you can be on DeviantArt and have the right to say that at the same time. You can't hide from this anymore. Give me your speaking privileges! Do you see me fucking laughing, my nigga? I ain't fucking laughing! 
Well, I can appreciate that you've shown a clip of the jacking off as a sport guy. That was mad corny, dude. <laughs> I did that once, and it was, it's not funny when I did it, and it's not funny when you did it. Speaking of images in 2020, really? Find better meme from that. I mean, I know this video was made like a month ago, but that doesn't excuse anything. Memes were still funnier a month ago. I've just got to forgive the fact that humor is subjective for a moment and say this. The speaking privileges slash vibe check meme is at least a relevant one. It's died down in recent months, but still. Looks to me you were grasping at straws to find something to mock for the umpteenth time. Reddit moment, my guy. A, a complete Reddit moment. I, I, I could just feel like the chest, the neck beard, like, blowing off me right now. That was a complete Reddit moment. I, I should steal your talking privileges. Because that was just disgustingly terrible. That's like something you would find on Reddit. I'm sorry, can you continue rambling about how this is apparently a complete Reddit moment for us? Please define that. Without any kind of explanation, it's hard to tell what would fall under the category of a Reddit moment. I'm just gonna assume it's humor you don't like. But hey, at least we can agree that generally, Reddit humor is terrible. Hey! Hello, cringe bait. Are you there? Were you supposed to say something here? This is just eating up video time. We can't have that. I'm just gonna skip to his final thoughts as he repeats his previous point about the work not being pedophilia. I think we get the point. And two, you need to understand constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is actually like pointing out their art, not saying like, oh, your art is weird and it sucks. That's not how it works. Tad ironic coming from you with how many non-constructive criticisms you've left behind during the video. This is admittedly something Package should improve some on, but you're not helping at all given you didn't specify any real examples and don't define it all too well. And that ends this travesty of a commentary. Cringe bait. I do believe you have the opportunity to at least be a decent ranter, but this video felt like the textbook definition on how to not do a response. A lot of your points were just nitpicks, your views on pedophilia seem to cancel each other out sometimes, and this overall fail to expose any real issues with the package reviewer's rant. And wait a second, what did you say before you began your response? And some of his stuff is like really wrong, it uses a bunch of misinformation and a bunch of lies and, you know, the bad. And also that he's kind of a major hypocrite, but we'll get into that later. You didn't even bother doing that, or at least not very well. Closest point you made exposing a lie was incoherent and failed to prove anything, and I don't recall any part where you called out serious hypocrisy. I'm calling that false advertising, but whatever. My best advice is to look over the channel or video more objectively if you want to expose somebody. Try to leave a lot of the nitpicks behind as well. There's also the random skipping which occasionally begins and stops too late. If you have nothing to say for that part, just cut it out. I'd also suggest saving up some money to buy a new microphone so your voice is more intelligible and doesn't sound that muffled. As far as commentaries go, this was probably the worst one I've seen in quite some time from both a critical and a structural standpoint. At least give Nico Safer and Dwebly credit, they kind of knew what they were doing when wanting to respond to something else. I've said already that I don't think you're a lost cause, but yeesh, look at that ratio. Not even a single upvote. I think it's at this point you should be looking for feedback like mine, preferably constructive. I try to do these for the better of who I'm covering, not to attack them. Okay, I mean after I made myself look like a dick trying to rebel against the commentary community. I hope you take our advice and improve your craft because I don't want you to be subject to ruthless attacks and equally destructive criticisms. I know that could really screw with your self-esteem. Anyways, I hope you're all doing okay in this now quarantine world. Things haven't been looking up, but we should hold some hope that this pandemic will end soon. Just don't forget about social distancing and avoiding physical contact well after this should be over. I also hope my external hard drive can be repaired so work can continue as normal. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye!